Excellencies, dear friends, it is a great honor to have the opportunity to address you at this important summit. The Korean Peninsula has a long been symbol of conflict. The main causes were relations of the great powers, which led to war and division of the nation, a process which, in which ordinary people paid the highest price. I am convinced that the time has come for the Korean Peninsula to become a positive example for the rest of the world. In this context, it is extremely significant that this event is dedicated to examine the ways to bring peace to the Korean Peninsula. It shows a significant shift and deserves every support. It is important to appreciate the significant commitment of the founders of the Universal Peace Federation. Uh, Mr. Sun Myung Moon and Dr. Hak Ya Han Moon, who established many initiatives aimed at promoting peace not only on the Korean Peninsula but globally. With establishment, establishing Universal Peace Federation, I believe they made a good platform to solve not the questions of the Korean Peninsula but also in a broader context. This kind of thinking and the values should get support from all of the normal people. Also, it is important to highlight the role of His Excellency Hun San, who deserves significant appreciation because of effort that he made in stabilizing Cambodia and bringing it to circle of the peaceful and stable democracies. Last but not least, I want to point out the role of His Excellency Ban Ki-moon, leader that gave enormous contribution to the world peace and mutual understanding between people. Not only during his role as General Secretary of the United Nations, but also throughout the, his rich diplomatic career. I had the pleasure to meet myself, Mr. Moon, and I know how committed he is to peace building and promotion of understanding among people. All three mentioned leaders bring a great importance to this summit and thanks to them, I'm sure that a large number of the current and the former state leaders will make significant contribution to positive outcome of this summit. We live in a time when the world is full of conflicts, in a time when nations isolate and distance themselves from each other. In the modern world, the selfish approach dominates. Nations separate themselves from each other, especially in a time of COVID. The difference between the rich and the poor is growing, while empathy for the other and the different is diminishing. It is in such conditions that the significance of the event is very important because only united and together we can overcome poverty. Only united and together uh, we overcome the problems posed by climate change that threaten humanity. Only united and together we can defeat COVID. The topic of the summit, Perspectives for the Peaceful Reconciliation of the Korean Peninsula, is important for the peninsula and Asia, but also for the whole world. Improvement in reconciliation and the peace building would have a major consequences for the modern world where there is little positive news. We are overwhelmed by negative news from the over, all over the world, conflicts and the wars. So more serious steps forward will have a considerable positive effect around the world. Coming from a country that has been in conflict on its own, I know that it is difficult to reach a compromise. But once the compromise is reached, it has a positive effect not only on a particular country, but also on other areas of conflict. In order to achieve peace and reconciliation, we need the people who are completely dedicated to it. And that is why this event and the organizers deserve full support and all possible help. Our own experience from Bosnia and Herzegovina shows that an important precondition for the peace is consensus 
of the great powers. And the great effort of all of us who care about the peace should be directed at putting pressure on the great powers to think not only on their own interest, but also of the interests of the peoples in those conflict areas. And the interest of the people of the Korean Peninsula is a peace, unity and prosperity. Political leaders play an important role in this process, but religious leaders are also of the great importance as they should unite the world, not divide it. Furthermore, the civil sector has had a huge role in the process of build, peace building and reconciliation. Any sustainable progress has to be closely linked to the citizens. They need to feel the positive effect of the efforts to improve relations in the region. That is why it is important to open borders and enable tourism. Contact between people is necessary to remove prejudice and to build sustainable and prosperous region. Economic prosperity is also very important and that means easier exchange of the goods, easier trade, but also the exchange of the cultures. This contributes significantly to the relegation of overall relationship. I hope that the summit will be a success and that Korean nation will be at the end united. Even though that path will not be easy, the people of Korean Peninsula deserve it and everyone who contributes to that positive development deserves tremendous support. Positive development in this direction would be of the great importance for the entire world and I hope that this will be the end result. The Universal Peace Federation deserves our full support in order to achieve United States and prosperous Korean Peninsula.